Being browser-based means it's really easy to run Construct 3 on a variety of devices. But not all of these devices have a lovely big screen to use, and the desktop view would look a little crammed on a small phone, so we created the mobile UI. Today I'll be demonstrating on an iPad Pro, but you can use Construct 3 on most mobile devices. You also don't have to use your device in landscape mode, C3 will work in portrait too. Things look relatively similar to the desktop UI on the start page, just a little more cramped. You'll start to see the differences when we've got a project open. Now I've opened Kiwi Story, you'll see there's something missing. I've got no bars. The layout view takes up the whole screen, but it's very easy to bring up our toolbars. Simply swipe in from the left or the right and you'll open up one of the bars. Swipe in from the right to bring up the project bar. Swipe again to switch to the layers and tile map bars. Swipe once more to cycle back round to the project bar. If we swipe in from the left, you'll bring up the properties bar. Notice you can only have bars open on one side at a time. If you continue swiping from the left, you'll cycle through bookmarks, Z order, find all references, find all results, and back to the properties bar. If you want to close a bar at any point, simply swipe them back off the screen again. Other than having to open up your bars, Using C3 on a mobile device can largely be explained as replacing mouse clicks with touches. For example, if I double tap an asset, I can open up the animations editor. If I double tap in an empty space, I can bring up the new object dialog. And if I need to right click something, let's say to open a menu, I can just tap and hold and voila, the menu. If you're using a large enough tablet, or have the ability to connect a mouse and keyboard to your device, then you can use the desktop UI on mobile devices. Simply open your settings and switch UI mode from automatic to desktop from the drop down menu. Now, whenever you reload Construct 3, it will force the desktop UI no matter what device you're using. And that about covers using Construct 3 on mobile devices. It is fairly similar to using it on a desktop, just touch orientated instead of using a mouse and keyboard. So next time you're bored on the bus to work or inspiration hits you while you're on the sofa in your pants, grab your phone and do a bit of impromptu game dev with Construct.